welcome to another yoga shred. Today we're going to be doing the whole body. Yes, that's right. So we'll start with a little warm up as usual and then we'll be doing three sheds today. Um, each of them is four minutes long and remember we do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of a rest. Okay, I'll do the timing. You don't need to worry about that. So let's get started. Let's have a wee seat down on our bottoms, that's it. And really adjust your bottom so you feel your sit bones right on that mat and sit nice and cross-legged, that's it. Relax those shoulders down as well and pop your hands on your knees. You can have them here if you want as well. Now at this point, you can close your eyes if you want, just settling into your mat for your, your yoga session today. So let's just breathe in through our nose. A lovely big deep breath, filling up this whole abdominal area and out again through your nose, okay? So let's just try and take deep breaths in and out through your nose. Equalizing that breath, trying to breathe in for about a count of three or thereabouts and out for a count of three. That's it. And just setting your intention for your practice as well. Are you doing this to de-stress? Are you doing it to burn some calories? Whatever it is, make your decision. Um, and you don't have to set an intention, it's just a nice way uh, to begin sometimes so that you feel that you've got a good purpose while we're doing this. So we're just sitting nicely, equalising the breath, okay? And now we'll invite some movement, and I'll turn to the side so you can see. We are going to stay in that position, and you can open your eyes, and we're going to inhale and bring our head down and up, sort of a dive, and exhale, chin into the chest, and shoulders round, okay? So inhale, that's it, and exhale. Keep those sit bones on the mat. Inhale, and exhale, lovely. And inhale, and exhale, great. Inhale, and exhale, lovely. One more, inhale, really feel that spine loosening off, and exhale. Lovely. So we'll get our arms into the mix now. Let's inhale, bring our hands up and exhale. That's it. Inhale, really stretch up and lengthen that spine and exhale back down. Another few up here. That's it. And exhale. And inhale and exhale. Lovely. Now let's come on to our hands and our knees. Hands splayed. Have your shoulders above your wrists and your hips above your knees. You can tuck those toes as well. And we're going to inhale and look up and come into our cow pose. Push that navel towards the floor whilst your core is still engaged. Then exhale, put your chin to your chest and put that back up in a lovely cat stretch. Inhale and exhale. Now you can do a few of these in your own time if you want or you can keep with my count. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Feel that core warming up. Inhale and exhale. Now, come back to a neutral spine, okay? So keep that navel tucked in and we're going to come up to downward dog. So you don't need to change anything apart from pop straight up, then come back. Now, let's start with bent knees and just make sure your hip, your legs are hip width apart, hands are shoulder width apart, that's it. Hands are nice and splayed and walk that dog out with lovely bent knees. First downward dog, let's be nice to ourselves. That's it. And push those hip bones up and back. That's it. Engage your quadriceps as well. You can bend your knees, remember. That's it. You don't have to get your heels on the floor. Okay, so from here we're going to look up and we're going to walk up to our hands gently and try and keep your hands on the mat but you can bend your knees of course so stay here and we're going to hold on to the inside of our elbows like this and we're just going to sway from side to side loosening ourselves up even more that's it wonderful so from here we're going to gradually roll up super slowly bring the hands into the mix up to the top and back down. Okay, I think we should do our first shred, don't you? Now, our first shred is chair fists of fire. What this means is 
we're going to do a chair pose now. Hips and knees are really important in this one. We're going to shift them back the way, like this. Check you can still see your toes, okay? Now, we don't want this. No toes over the knees, okay? So we're here. P tilt your pelvis as well. We don't want any bendy back. So tilt that pelvis. Nice straight back. And we're coming up to chair pose. Okay, so we're going to chair pose. Up, fists of fire. That's it, okay? I'll talk you through it. And I'll start the timer. So, remember, eight rounds. Chair, up. So we're going to inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Remember and get those arms involved. Now, we're breathing through our nose at this point. But as soon as you struggle to breathe, involve that mouth. That's it. First one done. Walk it out side to side. We're going to breathe out our mouth when we get a little bit but it gets a bit tougher, okay? And you'll know it's different for everybody. Back into your chair pose and up. Go whatever speed you want to go at. Remember those hips and the knees, okay? Remember those fists of fire. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. That's it. And your feet are hip width apart. Remember, that's two done already. <laughs> That's it. Now your breathing heart rate should be getting going a little bit now. Back into position. Inhale, exhale. Now if you want to start using your mouth, inhale, exhale. That's it. Inhale. And remember, you can vary it to suit yourself. You cannot come down as far. Vary it. You don't need to come right down. Or you can make it a bit harder. Let's see how we can do that. Walk it out side to side. Back into chair pose. And jump. 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 Okay. Jump. That'll get those quadriceps working. Inhale. Exhale. Watch those knees. Woo. Walk it out again. Well done. So remember your variations. You can be using ankle weights or wrist weights as well. Feet hip width apart. Remember, knees and hips back. Fists into the side. That's it. Wonderful. Walk it out. Your heart rate should be getting up quite a bit now. Out of breath. Well, I hope you are, because I am. <laughs> That's it. Let's go again. Remember, you can come down a wee bit and come up. Down deep if you want, as long as those knees are okay. Or you can jump. Wonderful. Keep going. This is the point we need to commit. We start to tire a wee bit. Walk it out side to side. <sighs> then let's get back to it. <sighs> Remember that breath. Your weight is in your heels as well. <sighs> well done. We're nearly there. We've got one more to go. Make it count, okay? Try and get the breath under control. Let's go. Last one. Add a jump in if you haven't already. Keep going. Whoo, well done. Walk it out. Side to side. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And our little trumpets tell us we've finished our first red. So we're going to come to the front of our mat. Remember that breathing? Raise your hands up. Fold over from your waist. Hands flat on the ground. And remember, and bend your knees if you need to, okay? But you can straighten them up if you want to. Weight is in your toes. That's it. Up on your fingertips. Look ahead. 
plant those hands and step back to plank. Now, you can stay here if you like, or you can come down on your knees because we're going to lower down to the ground, tops of the feet on the floor, and come up to a cobra pose. Now, the arms have got a little bend in them. We're not bracing ourselves out like this. Arms have got a slight bend. And looking up if you can. So tuck those toes, and we're going to come up to a downward dog, but you can come into a tabletop first if you want, and then up. Choose what suits you. So walk that downward dog out again. Have a think about your breath. Good opportunity to just check in with your breath. That's it. And then we're going to come down on our knees. And we're going to do our second shred. Oh, yes. This time it is fist, it is forearm fierce kicks. Bit of a tongue twister, that one. So, again, variations from, but everyone's going to start like this down your forearms, okay? And on your knees as well. Make sure your knees are under your hips and we're going to kick up. Dead easy, isn't it? Now, pad that other knee up, the one that's going to stay on the floor. Pad it up if you need to. Don't be uncomfortable. So we're kicking up and crunching in. Okay? Dead easy. Four each side. Let's go. Okay, on your forearms. Okay? Kick, crunch, kick, crunch. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Go whatever speed suits you. That's it. Now, when you're done, sit up on your heels, interlace your hands, push that chest up, get a nice stretch in between, come back down. That's it. Let's go again. Push, push, crunch, push, crunch. That's it. Because why would we not involve the core as well? That's it. Pushing that sole of the foot right up to the ceiling. <sighs> Well done, sit back. Now we'll do a wee variation. Stay there, do that. That's what suits you. Other than that, we're going to come onto our hands. Hands nice and splayed. Up, knees bent. And we're going to do the same. Push, push. Like this. Go slow at first, get used to it. Then you can speed it up. If you want. Well done. Down on your knees. That stretch again. Well done. Remember, go back to your forearms. Do what suits you, but challenge yourself at the same time. So coming down, choose your variation. This is the last one on this side. The sole of the foot's going up. That's it. Kick. Keep going. I know it's starting to hurt a little bit. <laughs> Keep going. Well done. Sit down. Let's switch sides, okay? Whoo! Stretch it out with those hands. Switch over. Now start on your forearms. Get used to it. Remember, up and in. Up and crunch. Inhale, exhale. That's it. Well done, sit back again. It gives your feet a lovely stretch, this as well. Push down, open that chest. Get those arms stretched, okay? Back down. You can go up on your hands as well. If you feel like it. But keep the quality of the movement. Keep challenging yourself every single time. So only four minutes. Well done. We're nearly there, guys. We've only got two more to do on this side. Stay with me. Go up in your hands if you want to. Remember. And remember the shoulders don't need to be directly above the wrist. Let's go. Push straight up. Slow down if you want to. But give more of a push if you're slowing down. Well done. We are nearly there. One more to go. Don't give up. Just 20 seconds more work on this leg and that's it. 
<sighs> well done. Come down, choose your variation. And let's go. <sighs> exhale, inhale, exhale. <sighs> And those heels again, stretch out. And that's us done, our forearm fierce kicks. Ah, well done indeed. So we're going to keep our knees and our feet together. Put the tops of those feet on the floor. Sit back in your heels if you can. Forehead on the floor. Tops of the hands on the floor next to the feet. A child's pose. A lovely few deep breaths here. Take a moment, collect yourself, get your breathing under control. In through the nose, out through your mouth. And we've only got one shred to go. <laughs> That's it. So for the next one, we are going to couple onto our backs, okay? Now this time, we're only going to do four rounds of it, okay? So we're down on our backs. Now your feet can be up on the mat but ideally flat so I'll show you ideally like this okay okay but if you get lower back issues bring them up do whatever's comfortable for you because what we're going to do is belly bonfire let your feet out like that fingers behind your ears resting not pulling your head up and all we're doing is bringing the shoulders up off the floor that's it okay four rounds okay I'll start this and we will talk about Variation. So let's go. Now you can come up and down as slowly as you want. Get used to it. Your feet are together. Looking up towards the ceiling. Chin up. Okay. Your neck shouldn't be sore at all. Remember that breathing. Stretch out. Put your point your hands above your head. Point toes as well. Hands behind your head again. Let's go. Now, you can come up if you want, shoulders off the floor, and pulse if that's what you want to do. Pulse, pulse, pulse. That's it. Probably slightly harder because you're not taking any sort of rest. You're constantly engaging that core. That's it. Down. Stretch out. Really stretch that whole body out. Get ready. Do the variation that you want to do. Remember, your knees can be up. And we're not hauling that head up either. Okay, nice controlled crunches. Go slower if you want. <sighs> this is too easy. Get a weight on your chest. <laughs> That's it, down, stretch out. Only one more to go. That's it. And just by doing 20, 30 minutes of exercise, we can do the equivalent or get the equivalent gain of an hour or two hours in the gym. So remember your variation, you can pulse or you can come up and down. This is the last one, guys. That is it, keep going. Breathe out on the way up. Well done. Stretch out those arms and legs. Okay, keep stretching out. That's it. Keep stretching, keep stretching. Oh, so what we're going to do is bring our knees up and we're going to keep them together and drop them over to the left. Get a lovely spinal twist, get that core nice and straight and put your hands out to the sides. Now you can look over to the right if you want and keep your head up and your knees don't need to come to the floor. That's fine as long as you're getting the spinal stretch. So your knees are to the left, your head's pointing to the right. That's it. And then bring them back up to the middle again and do the other side. So drop them over and look to your left. Wonderful. Doesn't it feel good stretching it all out? <laughs> That's it. Okay, bring them back up again. Now if you've got a block at this point, you can use a block. You don't desperately need one. But it just helps a little bit, get a better stretch. So we're going to put our block here and stay in our bridge pose. If not... Just bring yourself up into bridge, okay? And you're going to hold on to the block if you've got one. And bring your legs up like this, bent. 
okay? They don't need to be straight. We're not doing a waterfall pose. We are just leaving our legs up here to invert and to help get rid of all those nasty wee toxins. And it feels quite nice, I think you'll find. So it doesn't matter if you've got a block, it's just an added extra. You can use a cushion as well. And you might be back to just breathing through your nostrils now as well. Revert back to that when you can. And you can do this up against the wall as well. Scoot your bum up right up against the wall and put your legs up. It's a lovely thing to do. Drains all your toxins out. And actually it's very, very calming. And kids love doing it as well. So you can do it with kids. That's it. So bringing that back down. If you've got the block, keep it there. Point those toes. Point those hands. Okay. So you don't have to have the block. Use a cushion, bolster, anything like that. Or nothing. So, if you've got the block, take it out. Now, if you have had the block, feel how much space there is now. Yeah, pelvis area feels super, super roomy now, doesn't it? So, stretch, stretch, stretch. Now, at this point, if you are a yogi and you normally do shavasana quite a lot, uh, please switch off. Feel free to do your own shavasana. Other than that, let's just lie with our feet out at the sides of the mat and our hands out at the sides, okay? Palms facing up. And close your eyes for a wee second. And this is um, a really important phase of your practice. We've only been working for a short time, but it's really important just to lay still at the end of it, get the restorative benefits without jumping up, rushing around, and doing something else. Okay, this can be as long as you want this pose. It is up to you. Five minutes, 20 minutes, up to you. Longer the better, really. And all we're doing is lying, not doing anything special with our breathing, just lying and being as a natural state as possible and totally relaxed. That's it. Relax those shoulders. Feel yourself melting into the mat. You've worked hard. You deserve a little rest. That's it. So I do encourage you to keep this for as long as possible. Other than that, you can invite a little movement into your hands and toes okay just don't shoot up from sitting down here and very slowly you can bend your knees and slowly come up if you want but be slow okay we have been jumping about a fair bit and come up and cross those legs over okay and let's put our hands to our heart i hope this practice heals and strengthens your body and your mind namaste Thank you so much for joining me for another Yoga Shred. Uh, I hope you're feeling fabulous now. Uh, and I hope to see you back for another one. Thank you very much. See you later.